Hello Bugs, it's KP and I just wanted to do a quick review, uh, my own personal review of the Man Be Happy Planner. That's me and my big ideas. Um, it's the Create 365 Happy Planner. There are five different planners to choose from. Um, as you can see in this picture, pull right from their website. Um, they have a ton of accessories. It is a arc bound system, uh, which you know some people love, some people don't. Um, this will be my first arc planner. Um, because right now, as you know, if you watch the channel, I do have an Erin Condren that I got back in April. Um, I do like my Erin Condren a whole lot. I use it every day. Like, it's been a great, great planner. However, um, going into, you know, thinking about next year and things like that, spending $60 on a planner um, may not be the most economical thing for me at this time. So I had to think about that. Plus, I really love all the accessories and add-ons for the happy planner so and it's a little more accessible I just waited almost a month for my last Erin Condren order not very pleased about that so I did go ahead and pick one up and I chose the everyday is a gift one um, it is blue and white with gold foil uh, which I thought was really pretty um, not too you know over the top it's kind of plain but I like it um, and I had watched several videos because if you know me you know I do my my leg work and I uh, watch lots of YouTube videos and Instagram and you know everything and I liked the guts of this one the best if that makes sense um, I love the uh, the start of the months and the different things that this one included so like I said it is an art bound planner um, the discs have little hearts in between them which I thought was um, really cute um, this one has gold this I, I believe some of them have like black or something and then you can buy additional larger discs that are like pink or they have another gold pack things like that excuse my junkie desk back there I've been doing like craft and stuff all weekend so my desk is a mess um, I did go ahead and put some packing tape over the la uh, the tabs for the months because this particular planner is not laminated. Now I have heard in several of the Facebook groups and things that I'm in that Mambi does plan to laminate the tabs on the next version of the planner which I think is a very good step because um, even just from shipping a couple of my tabs were kind of bent up when I put it out the box. No big deal, though. But, you know, just because they're paper, so that's going to happen. So I just really quickly, I had some packing tape because, like, I just always have it here. So I just whipped it out real quick and just put it on there. It took maybe, like, three minutes. Like, super easy process to fix that. And some people have laminated the pages, which is fine, too, but I wasn't going through all that. One of the things I do absolutely love about the planner is at the beginning of every month, they have this here, um, like, monthly dashboard type thing where you can just put, like, it's his birthday, special events, important days, don't forget, goals for the month, um, holidays. I think this is a really good quick reference. And just as a side note, Erin um, Condren added back the monthly, um, I guess, page before um, the month in their new version of the um, life planner and a lot of people are setting it up this way where they're keeping important dates and things like that on there so I was like I do like that I like having that option so I'll just get a planner with it already in there um, I love the beginning of each month it's different so this was just I just flipped to the month um, so this is December and it said may your days be merry and bright and it's like red and cream and the gold foil little dots I thought that was cute but each month is different this is just a look at the monthly spread very similar to any other planner you would get in the marketplace um, with just the days of the month a side tab for notes um, my planner lays completely flat um, now I will say this was an 18 month planner I took out um, July to October because I do not plan to use this um, fully until the month of October um, just because I'm still in my Erin Condren and I just don't want to abandon it right now. I do want to use it for at least six months. So I am waiting until the end of September to transition into the um, Happy Planner. Here's a look at the weekly spread. Very, very similar. Um, 
with the vertical layout, which I do prefer to the horizontal. That's just me. Um, the boxes are a bit longer, but that's fine. Um, and I like that within the month, there is a quote along the bottom of at least one of the weeks that I've seen thus far. I think it's only one of the weeks that has a quote. So I do like that feature as well. Um, I mean, my big ideas have tons of stickers. Um, I mean, all kinds of different embellishments and just different stuff. Um, just for, you know, any can be using any planner or scrapbooking or whatever but they have a specific line of items that were um, created just for the planner so I did pick up a few add-ins I got the um, seven pack of folders which seven pack um, was pretty good for $7.99 so I thought that was a pretty good deal um, I did pick up a pack of the additional uh, notebook paper and then I did go ahead and get the pack of covers so it's four additional covers included in that so that was good and I got those off from Hobby Lobby so I was able to use a 40% off coupon then I also got a couple of the sticker packs um, these again were created for the happy planner um, the gold foil ones that are just so uh, nice I don't even know if I want to use those um, <laughs> then some very similar like the same style of stickers but in a colorful format and then I got a sticker collection that's like to do lists and things like that and then I also got the um, pack of sticky notes well one of the packs I think there's two different ones so so far like I said I took out um, July through up until October so my, this calendar will start with October and go through um, so to start October 2015 and go through June of 2016 so I essentially made myself a nine month planner um, because who am I kidding I'm going to get a new planner at some point I'm not going to keep this planner through December 2016 um, I'm not even going to pretend like that's what I'm going to do so um, <laughs> and at, at the price point I'm not mad about it like I could easily get another one if I choose to stick with this one or if this is not what I like I can switch it to a different you know type or brand all right so I just added the be thankful in the front and I think I'm just gonna use the front folder for some um, like stickers and things I use on a more regular basis then I added another folder right after um, the where the June calendar ends um, and if you can see here my planner lays completely flat like I love that I just open it up and it just lays completely flat so it'll be easy if I do need to write inside you know without taking out the paper and things like that um, but I added another folder there and it's let life surprise you which I thought was really nice um, the folders that came in the pack were really nice um, and then I that's where I added the notebook paper then I added another folder because I want to incorporate my budgeting into the planner so I have everything kind of in one place for the month. Right now I have two separate systems and, and that's fine, but I want to see if I like everything together. Um, so we'll see how that works out. But then I just added the graph paper and I think I'm going to use the graph paper for my budgeting purposes and the graph paper and the notebook paper came together in a pack of 40 sheets so they're 40 double sided sheets um, and it was $4.99 so that definitely was not bad and if you have a coupon it could be even cheaper than that so alright and this is just the inside of the back cover which I think is nice because you could actually if I wanted to I could flip that and then have a totally different look for the planner that could easily become the front of the planner opposed to the back or it could be the back with the stripes so I do like that that is very uh, versatile as far as design and you can add and remove pages and things it seems very easily um, this is just the back with the create 365 the happy planner um, so so far guys I really like it I will do a more in-depth review of course when I actually begin to use it full-time um, so far I have thrown the planner across the room I have um, turned it upside down and shook it crazy I have like done like held it by one ring and shook it just to kind of see how easy the pages fall out when I threw it across the room everything stayed intact when I held it with one ring, everything stayed intact. Um, I do carry my planner with me. Sometimes I don't take my big planner with me every day. 
So I don't know, you know, how that works as far as in your purse and things like that. Because I have a um, Webster's Color Crush as my personal size planner that I take with me everywhere. So we'll see how it holds up. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching as always. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on IG at All Things KP if you're not already. And I'll talk to you guys soon.